Well, this is to show everyone uh, as we go along that there are people who are put in prison for such a silly, ridiculous, nonsensical reason that they're improperly dressed. And this is what we want to impress people with. Yes. How many demos have you been on this year already? On demos, I think three this year so far, that's all. Because I was demos? in prison when the one of the demos was uh, taking place. <laughs> and how many times is that you've been in prison now? 25 so far. 25? Yes, and I'm due for another spell within a month or so. Uh, so it goes on. How long is it since you've worn a helmet, Fred? Uh, 1976 I gave, uh, acted in and decided that if the seats could ride without a helmet, Fred Hill could too. Yes. Thank you very much, Fred. What are your views on the helmet? Yeah? Well, not as a member of the Sikh community, I would say, as a, an individual who is supposed to grow up. And I wouldn't only take Yeah, you don't want to be identified as a minority of yourself. Yeah. Uh, and also, also, I would say, take the other next step the government is going to take, which is a Sikh law. I think it's totally wrong of the government try to impose upon a person's freedom after 18, if you use the to vote, and do all sorts of other things uh, which can endanger life, should be left to the person to decide how he can, what risks he can take in life. It's up to him to judge if he is supposed to be a grown up adult. That's right. Well, thank you very much for your view. Mag PRO, why are you here today? The purpose of the demonstration uh, is to gain publicity on the one hand, 
to try to get to the papers, local press, TV, radio, and uh, it does mag and motorcycling a lot of good. It gives us a chance to recruit new members and put our crossage message across to people who may not have heard before. Yes, what do you think the police presence is like here today? Well, the, the presence is quite obvious. I mean, there's, there seems to be a fair number here, mostly foot. Um, we've seen the bike police pull up, and they're obviously going to help to a degree with the traffic but I've heard that they're not going to be that helpful as regards getting us through in one route. They've asked us to go out in batches of about 25, 30. I understand there's no helmet amnesty today. No, that's right. They've said that anybody uh, even trying to pull out the gate will be pulled over and booked. So that's, that's rather unfortunate that one of those things is the law after all. And they're there to enforce it? Yeah. They don't, they don't make the law, they just have to carry it out, unfortunately. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Ken. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I do thank you, first of all, 
thank you indeed for coming. It's an effort these days because petrol is a very expensive commodity uh, and generally all the organisation of runs gets perhaps a little more complicated. So that the fact that you've done it is, in, is very complimentary. Now, I'm going to read my speech today, but normally we haven't become as sophisticated yet that we've got a President Reagan type telecaster thing coming up in front of the uh, microphones, but we'll possibly do that in time to come. Thank you for coming. Um And uh, actually I haven't really a prepared speech as such and quite honestly I've been shuffled forward about three places in the order of uh, speaking. But I'm not going to talk on too much because there's several more speakers and I might end up boring you, which would be uh, unfortunate. Uh, I would just draw your attention to that, that there is obviously the, the seatbelt law that, that, that keeps getting shuffled back another year, another year. Now I believe it, where it should have come in on August the 1st this year, it may, and I hope it won't, but it may well come in on February the 1st next year. Fair enough, but uh, when our law came in, what a bang crash, that was it. No exemption for anybody, not on any grounds, not on medical grounds, not on the fact that you can't hear with a helmet on, not on the fact that many of them you can't see, not on the fact that many of them are far too heavy and very near breaks your neck if you are uh, unfortunate to come off. No exemption for us on any grounds, not at all. But seatbelt law when it comes in, that will accommodate people who are difficult, it will allow people who are difficult to see their doctor, and if they pay eighteen pounds for some reason, if they just happen to know the doctor all that finally. <laughs> The Meg demonstration. Oh, it's very good too. Very good too. Don't like the hassle on the way though. Too much hassle. I'd like to say something about that. Um, I would think a lot of people find it. You know, it's just too much harassment. You know, it's a peaceful demonstration, but just too much hassle. Yeah. Five minutes to have the action in the park, Everybody seemed to be uh, behaving themselves properly, as they always do, with a reputation for it. And I think it went highly successful. Some of the things uh, in the speeches were first class. So I was very happy about it. Thanks very much. Not going yet? <laughs> 